Welcome to Studio 865. The future of local music is on the air on UTTV and WUOT FM. Studio 865 today is very lucky to have Christabel and the Johns performing live and talking as well, talking live. And uh, it's, really, it's really a great band. I guess my first question is, do you feel that the musicians you're playing with just sort of naturally blend together, or is, or is that a result of a lot of practicing and work? And I think we naturally blend together. And we, uh, I guess we've been a band for four or five years now, and I feel like we're, we've become more of a family unit than anything else between the touring and playing gigs together and sleeping in the same room on couches and floors and stuff. We've... We uh, kind of have the psychic connection now, but it's funny when we're when we're on tour, we kind of have the silent van where we get into the van and then we drive nine hours. No one says a peep. It's completely silent. We don't even listen to music. It's like <laughs> we send psychic thoughts to each other. That's about it. It's a Zen van. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and who's playing with you? I mean, is it the same lineup now? That's on all the gigs, or do you do you mix it up? Or well, it's pretty much the same uh, for today's performance. Unfortunately, our, our bass player, Taylor Heiner, couldn't make it, so um, we have our old buddy, Josh Sidman, who does a lot of sub, substitute kind of gigs with us. But John Whitlock and Seth Hopper and I uh, have been the unit for, for the, whole, the whole history of Christabel and the Johns. Right. Now, and, and I understand that you and John are cousins that you found out recently. We're actually half-brother and sister. Yeah, we have different dads. Okay. And how long have you been half brother and sister? About five years. Excellent. <laughs> How's that working? Is like, it's, it's is, great. Do you have family? It's the best half brother I've ever had. Wow. I've never had one, but I've, I was thinking about getting one uh, in time for the holidays. I recommend it. Speaking of which, you're going to do a holiday record. Is that true? We are. We're going to do like a kind of slightly cheesy 1960s uh, holiday special kind of album. Uh, we do a Christmas show every year. This last one was really probably the best one we've ever done. I was really proud of it. It was at the Square Room, and we thought um, for this year's annual Christmas show, we'd uh, put out a CD as well. Awesome. Are you going to record anything else this year other than holiday music? Uh, Maybe an are. Arbor Day record? <laughs> I think, I think the President's the market, Day. The market I think we're going to do a Lincoln's up. Birthday album. Uh, no, actually, we're going to do another studio album. It's going to be called The Same Mistake, and that's going to be our third CD. But um, we only have about 75% of the material ready for that, so we're kind of taking it slow, and that's going to be a different album for us. It's going to be um, like a couple of the songs that we play today, uh, a lot of bossa nova kind of feel. Yeah, like I Cried Over You. Exactly. Tell me about that one, and, and when did the bossa nova start creeping in? Because I, I hear that you, it, it can do that. The, uh, it, de- it definitely did. That song, uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure you're familiar with the phrase drunk dialing. Sure. Yeah, well, that song is written about, uh, about a personal experience of me drunk dialing someone and then it being the worst mistake you know, I've ever made. <laughs> really regretting it during my kind of hungover state the next day. myself can't trust no one else I want to bury my head in the sand and say I'm sorry I'm sorry again and again
I could do to fix things up. I want to see you and me sleeping peacefully. What can I do to make it up to you? Forgive me again 